Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another episode of video uh, or Photoshop Element 6. It's a video tutorial. I was recently emailed from a viewer by the name of Tracy. Tracy wants to know how do we create a web album? So I thought I would take this and it's, it's most likely going to be a two part series because there's a couple different steps. But Tracy, thank you very much for the email and let's go ahead and get started on creating a web album and I'll show you how that works. First what you do in your organizer is go ahead and select some of the pictures that you want to use on the internet. And as I'm selecting these I'm going to tell you a little bit about the internet and how the web albums work. One, you have to have a hosting service and we'll go over that here uh, shortly. Next um, you have to be able to be familiar a little bit with an FTP program and how to upload these pictures once you create this web album. And I'm going to show you that also. So this video tutorial is going to be a couple different parts. I don't want this picture here because that little clip right there is showing me that it's, it's actually a little video clip uh, that my daughter is quite uh, involved in creating little video clips. There, we'll just select those and that's the pictures we're going to use for our web album. Now once you have the item selected for your web album, what you're going to do is very simply go over and click on share. Now you see where it says online gallery? This is what we're going to look for. We're going to click on online gallery. And these are the pictures we currently have selected. If we'd like to add more, we can simply click on the picture and we can click on add and we can add them to this. If you see one of the pictures you don't want in your web gallery, just simply click on it and click the minus button. And that will remove it from your items. Now, let's go ahead and click next. Now, if you look here, select a category. Interactive means when somebody clicks on one of your pictures, it can blow it up. And you got standard. These will give you standard. If somebody clicks on a picture on the left, it will come up on the right. So there's a lot of really, really nice templates. Here's an animated, which I would imagine it's a slideshow. I haven't played with all these folks. So uh, a journal, where you have it laid out as a journal style. Here's a regular slideshow where it's going to come up as a, a uh, flash-based slideshow. Let's just do interactive. So you can interact with this web interface. Then you go ahead and pick a template based on whatever your pictures may be. There's a wedding template. Here's one that looks like a book. And here's one. Let's just select this one. It looks like a book. No, better yet, let's select this one. With the uh, pictures on the bottom and then the, the bigger picture on top. Then let's go ahead and click Next. Now this is going to go ahead and actually build our project for us. It's going to take those pictures we selected and it's going to put them together into a basically online gallery. Now let's do a title up here and this title will be Cook Forest and if you're not familiar with Cook Forest, Cook Forest is a uh, beautiful mountain land um, in Pennsylvania. It's very uh, very nice. Spent a weekend up there doing some uh, photography work. Subtitle um, Forest and Surrounding Area All right. Email address. If you want your email address to be on your web page, just put it in there. If you like spam, put it there. If you don't enjoy spam, I would say leave it off. Most people that's going to view your online gallery are probably okay with um, knowing your email address. We can change the background color. And that's actually going to change our uh, background color for us. And this will be actually in the finished product. We'll see that background color will be blue. Show video captions. If you have a lot of captions in your um, in your organizer, then you can check that. If not, just uncheck it. Then let's click Next. The name of the gallery. We'll just put here Cork Forest. And where do I want to save it to? We can create a new folder. 
and I have a di two different uh, hard drives. So I'm going to go to the D drive, create a folder called Web Gallery. And if you're losing track of this, just rewind this a couple times, and you're going to get it uh, very easily. This is where it's going to save a folder so we can have all of our web gallery. What this will do is, folks, this will build all of your HTML pages for you. You don't have to write any code. And it's going to put it in a folder. That folder is very important of what the uh, overall website is going to be named. And I'll show you that probably during our FTP section of this uh, training. So this is the web gallery. So let's go ahead and click Next. It says your gallery has been saved to your catalog. Okay, so it's been saved in the catalog or the organizer. Now you can share the gallery to Photoshop Showcase, My FTP, or CD DVD. So you can put this on a CD and DVD and mail it to somebody, and they can actually pull it up on their web browser. But we're using an FTP. Now, you can do it this way, or we can actually go out to another FTP program and send it that way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop right here and let you kind of digest this a little bit. And we're going to go ahead then and we'll FTP this stuff out using a regular FTP program. And I use FileZilla. I'll show that to you in just a few minutes. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And we'll click on Done. Now at that point, we'll be able to see that we are ready to go and the pictures are set up into a folder. And let me see if I can bring it up for you. Because I get a lot of emails that says, Jack, where does this stuff go when you create this? I created under my D, job, D drive a folder called Web Gallery. Here's the Cook Forest. This is all the HTML pages and everything right underneath that one folder. So that's how this is built. Our next, uh, the very next video that I'm going to do here, I'm going to create the video to show you how to upload this folder to your web server or your web hosting service. And I'll show you the one I use. And then you can display this gallery to anybody in the world and how to make links to it and you can do all kind of uh, neat stuff with it once you create the photo gallery but all your pictures are in here uh, imagine they're all the resources and media see all the pictures are in here already ready to go so we're going to say bye for now and i'll see you back here in just a minute and you can watch how to watch the ftp one thanks for watching i'll be back very soon